गैस स्प्रिंग और गैस फिटेड शॉक एब्जॉर्बर और अ काइंड ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक्स पेंशन वट इज दैट लेट सी इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ शॉक एब्जॉर्बर विच यूज इज गैस एट द प्लेस ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स इन द सस्पेंशन सिस्टम इट यूज नाइट्रोजन गैस नाइट्रोजन और यू कैन से फ्रे ऑन एंड अ स्पेशल हाइड्रोलिक फ्लूड बिटवीन इन द अदर चैम्बर नॉट टेल लेट मी टेल यू द कंस्ट्रक्शन हेर यू हैव अ ट्यूब दिस इज द मेन ट्यूब ऑफ द गैस स्प्रिंग हाफ ऑफ इट्स चैम्बर इज फिल्ड विद hydraulic oil and half of it is filled with nitrogen gas now and this is a piston <coughs> piston with a rod this is a tube which is filled with hydraulic oil and nitrogen with a divider and it is a piston with a rod and it is where it is upper mounting i mean this place uh, i mean this this part is connected to the uh, axle right chassis uh, you can say and this is uh, connected to the wheel right this is how it works and this is dust shield this is dust shield and how it works uh, le let me tell you first of all its principle it works on the same principle as any shock absorber works the only difference is that uh, that in the place of springs there is a gas nitrogen gas and uh, its pressure is 25 times higher than the atmospheric pressure and the compression takes place and everything remains the same as conventional shock absorbers now let me tell you the working how it works this is where the it is attached to the wheel when it comes across a bump then uh, this whole tube is moved up this whole tube is moved up causing this piston to come down when this piston come down there is a little tolerance here there is a little tolerance and the sidewise of uh, the piston because of which this fluid moves totally up causing the piston to keep moving down which makes the gas compressed as the gas is compressed Uh, after a certain value of compression the gas when fully compressed at a saturated point the gas gives a revert back which causes it to uh, you know to go back with with a shock uh, with a shock i mean it is how it absorbs the shock right so this is how the shock absorber works or gas spring shock absorber works i hope it is clear let me tell you once again in short when it comes across a bump it is connected to the wheel this part this whole tube this whole tube moves up causing this very oil to go here and this piston to come down to this and it keeps pressing the gas chamber after a certain value of compression it gives a revert back this is how the shock is absorbed and uh, the advantages maybe you can say uh, high damping is possible because uh, because of the difference i mean it is 25 times more comp uh, high in pressure as of atmospheric pressure and uh, it can be mounted in any position and large volume of fluid is available for damping as full diameter of tube can be used as working chamber okay <coughs> thank you